talk about how this is really just a dramatic shakeup in the GOP primary that he went for Michaels. It could be if Tim Michaels uses it properly. So let's pull back and look at the Trump record endorsements. In federal races, pretty good. Gubernatorial races, a little bit mixed lately. So yes, Trump's blessing is significant, but what do you do with it? So for Michaels, smartly, right after he got the endorsement, he recut an ad already up in the air about immigration to add in the Trump endorsement. Okay, great. What else is he going to do? Is Trump going to come here and campaign for him? I haven't seen Trump do uh, a lot of stumping for people. Now some. He's done some, yes. Some, not a lot. Mm-hmm. Now come here. How is Michael's going to use the, the ad what I've been he- or the endorsement? What I've been hearing is uh, Michael's has a significant edge on Clayfish for TV since he got in the race. But it's not like insurmountable. So what's Michael's going to do now? Because Clayfish's numbers, from what I'm hearing, are that her polling has her still up about the same spot she's been, even growing a little bit. So at some point, Michael's has to take this away from her. How does he do that? Well, does he do a, con- a contrast ad? So are some people's contrast, other people's negative, right? But do you say, Rebecca Clayf is a bad person because she did X, Y, and Z, or just contrast, I'm for this, she's for this? Like, not quite a negative ad, but more of a, here's what I'm about. What do you do? Because you have to take it away from her. Um, the endorsement should help, but it's not going to seal the deal for Michaels. He still has to do things. And oh, by the way, um, nobody's going to punch yet in this primary. Clayfish has not seen a punch on her in the, the ads, but Michaels hasn't either. He's got issues like he was living in New York and his kids went to school in Connecticut. There are some questions about, okay, he really took Connecticut to Wisconsin with that going on. Where has he been on right to work and Act 10, these big conservative fights the last decade or so that Clayfish was a part of in the Walker administration? So the dust hasn't settled on the, how the brawl is going to be fought just yet. Rewind. Your Week in Review is sponsored by the Wisconsin Realtors Association, bringing Wisconsin communities to life with great homes, businesses, and neighborhoods. The Wisconsin Realtors Association, the voice of real estate. 